Hey guys, what's going on? BlueCool97 here, and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a chunk loader. You know, I, again. Uh, so someone commented on my last video, and apparently they were having a problem to where when the item was firing through the portal, it, would, it wouldn't go all the way through. It would, like, sit on the edge of the block occasionally. But because it's there, it, like, attracts the rest of the entities to it. And then all of them would sit there, and then they eventually despawn, and then the whole machine stopped working. I personally never had this issue when I was testing it, and I ran it for about two and a half, three hours, and I never had that happen. So I don't know how long this person was running it, but either way it happened. So I came up with a new design that works really nicely, actually. I quite like it. So let's get started. So before I start building this thing, I just kind of want to show you guys the design of it so far and kind of how it's working. So basically a minecart is being sent through the portal and gets broken over there and comes back gets picked up and re-put inside this uh, machine here and then is recycled back through so obviously first you're going to, want to start off by building your portal uh, don't don't light the portal that wouldn't be good also because these portals are so close together they might link up and the thing might break a little bit as i'm doing this but this is how you do it it's pretty easy it's it's not that bad so first what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to place in a dispenser right here just like that and then after you get the dispenser place in you want to come underneath the portal here and go down two blocks break this one place a block here and you're going to want to get out some hoppers which i had to replace with glass to fix this thing over here so grab these real quick and hoppers go right here then go ahead and grab a dropper and go up like this then go ahead and break out this block and place another hopper just like that then what you want to do is you want to place glass here just like that. Go ahead and get out a block and place it here and place it here just like that. Then come around to this side and come out two blocks, break out this block here, and make sure that's a target block and place that redstone torch. Then go ahead and place a block in on top of that with redstone dust on there just like that. Then go ahead and come underneath this block and then over one. Place redstone dust on there just like that with a block here with a redstone repeater with an observer clock running into this repeater here set that on maximum delay so now all those will constantly keep firing but because that's super annoying right now i'm gonna break that all right now the next thing you want to do is you want to place in a powered rail on top of this hopper here and a rail on top of that one there and then place a redstone block there like that just so you can power those now if you don't want to use a redstone block you can do something like this and just use a redstone torch save yourself some redstone but because i'm in creative and don't care the slightest bit i'm putting a redstone block so now the next thing we need to do is we need to make this thing dispense out the hopper so go ahead and place in a block here and then place in a block on the side of this redstone just like that with a comparator here just like this running up here into a block with another block placer like that with redstone dust here with a repeater here like this, set on maximum amount of delay, with a block on top just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to place in a powered rail here, just like this. Then what you want to do is place in a block here, just like that. Place another block here like this, and run redstone, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, break up this powered rail and chuck in another powered rail here. Place in this rail back. Go ahead and place in this hopper minecart, and place in a hopper minecart here, just like that. Then go ahead and take some blocks and surround this thing so it doesn't move and fall. I personally like using glass just so I can kind of see it so I know what's going on. Also, just for aesthetics, I'm placing glass here as well. So go ahead and place it on this side here. You might need to give the minecart a little nudge so you can place it in there. But now when you throw a piece, an item in there, it'll get carried through and shoved in here. And if one lands here on the portal, it'll also get sent through and put in there. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build a frame here like this. So that way, when the minecart's flying back and forth, it doesn't ever shoot over the side that way. So the only possible place it can go is here, here, or here. The next thing you want to do is you want to place glass here like this and up like that. Then what you want to do is you want to place glass right next to this powered rail, just like that. And then you can basically leave the rest of it how it is. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to come out two blocks here like this, two more on all of these. That always have like kind of a little platform to walk and stand on, and then I can like walk into my portal and go through it for later purposes. But I'm going to go ahead and chuck in this redstone dust. That way the whole thing's working. And then I'm going to take the minecart and throw it down here. 
And now, as we will see, it'll get shot out there and sent across. But, because we don't need that out, out there right now, I'm going to take it away. And I'm going to go ahead and light this portal. So, I'm going to go ahead and light the portal here, just like this. And now I'm going to go through it and kind of see what happens, and I'll have to link the portals up and do all that fun stuff. Alright. So, I've just gone through the portal, and it has taken me here. Now, I'm going to show you how to kind of do the rest of this thing. And because I had linked those two other portals up, that's why this thing had stopped working. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure the two portals um, in the nether and in the overworld are in sync. So wherever the one is in the overworld, you need to build one there based on the coordinates that it is in the nether. I've shown a video on how to do this. I'll put something up on the screen right now, link in the description and in the comments. Maybe I'll even throw up a tag. Click on that. Go watch that video to sync up your portals. Alright, so then basically what you want to do, because mine is coming out of this section right here, go ahead, place in a block, come down one more, break this block here, place in sand, and then place in your cactus there, just like that. Then what I do is I just, sometimes I just place in glass here on it, just because what the heck, why not? And then also, build a little bit of a platform here, that way you have something to kind of stand on when you walk back and forth. So I'm going to go back through this portal, and as you can see, I come out here, because this one was a little bit different, I can't quite get through. But that's 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 basically it. So now, um, I'm going to just uh, break this portal here, so that one stops working, and we'll strictly run it off of this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this minecart inside this dropper here. We'll see it dispense through there, and then it comes back. Because it got broken by the cactus, and then gets to redispense and comes through. Now I'm going to head to here, and hopefully I don't grab it, and we should see it working. So the minecart comes through, gets broken by the cactus, and then immediately gets resent back through. I don't recommend using this portal as a way of transportation. I mean, it's kind of set up that way to where you can if you absolutely need to. But once again, I don't really recommend it because you might accidentally grab the minecart. And if you do, just put it back. It's not that big of a deal. But I tested this one for an hour, and I didn't have any problems with it not working or anything like that. So this one should work for all of you guys out there. But that's all I have time for today. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. But guys, that being said, have a great day, and don't forget to stay cool. See you guys.